Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've had to set myself up in a different part of my room because my dog is sleeping in the spot that I usually film in. So um, that's why it's a bit different. Today's video is just super quick. I'm running through the differences between normal sized straighteners and max sized straighteners or wide plates. I've had quite a few comments on lots of different brands and like which size that you guys should choose. It really all comes down to personal preference, but I wanted to go through some of the differences that I find with them. Today I'm going to be using the Cloud9 as an example, but really a lot of the specifications between most models are the same. So this kind of applies for GHD and Silver Bullet and Muck, everything like that. Usually your original irons will be this dimension and then your wide plates will be a little bit bigger. Now a lot of people really look at wide plates predominantly if they've got really thick hair or long hair, hair that is a pain to straighten and that it takes a long time. The idea of using a wide plate is that it gets through the hair quicker. My personal opinion on this is that you are still having to take the same amount of hair through a section um, as with both irons. One just has a larger plate. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are able to take more hair during a section. What does matter is that because you've got a larger surface area, you're gonna have more heat distribution. Typically, if you had a, a cheaper straightener um, that, you know, starting from the top, working your way to the ends, it would lose quite a lot of heat by the time it got to the ends of your hair. The idea of a wide plate is that because you've got more heat sensors, you're gonna have more heat. Now, when you're looking at straighteners that are your premium ranges, like your GHDs and your Cloud 9s, that heat distribution isn't much of an issue. I personally don't think you get through more hair because the section that you're passing through is the same. I know a lot of people love wide plates and I do think they are really awesome. I don't have an issue with wide plates, but if you're not sure which one you wanna go for and that's the sole reason why you're gonna go for a wide plate, just maybe consider that. The other thing I get asked a lot about your original and your wide plates is what else you can do besides straightening. If you have really short hair or if you have a fringe, you might find it's a little bit harder to get close to the roots if you're using a wide plate. As far as doing curls, both will curl. It does depend on what you're more comfortable doing. Because I always use an, an original size myself, I know how to curl with this. Every time I curl with this, I do feel a little bit awkward, but you can get larger barrel curls using this. As far as doing like water waves and that kind of mermaid wave, you can get that look with either of this. It doesn't really make a difference. As my hair is a little bit shorter I do prefer to have an original size to do my underneath but again for someone with long hair and people that really like to do like quick passes I can see why they want to do the wide so again it all kind of comes down to what your hair texture is what you are using your styler predominantly for like are you just using it for straightening or do you want to be able to do other things if you're working on clients it, it is best, I guess, to have something that's gonna be a little bit more versatile if you do have someone with shorter hair or if you need to do a hairstyle that's, say, a little bit more intricate, then you might need to do smaller curls. I know I haven't given a really, like, definite answer and because, like I said, this is such a personal preference. I think if you are really sitting on the fence, I would recommend to, if you can go into a hairdresser or if you have a friend that might have a wide or an original that you can play with, figure out what is most comfortable for you and what you're gonna be able to use best. I hope that has helped anyone trying to decide which straightener to get. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you next week for another video. Thanks guys, bye.